I would skip every single Fontaine character until I accomplished my goals. Yes, you hear it right. No Fontaine characters for me. It's actually not the first time that I skipped all the characters in the featured region. I don't think it's going to be that hard. It might even be a bit convenient, to be honest. I still remember when a lot of the characters were revealed from Sumeru. There was Nilo, which I found to be cool because of her vision and design. But after seeing her gameplay and character, I wasn't as fond of her, that I didn't even want her anymore. There is another character that I'm gonna talk about in a sec, which my opinion on them also completely changed after time passed. But that is exactly what I'm talking about. Time. As we experience more, our outlook on something or someone can change completely. For me, Ayato falls into that category. I liked him, but I never expected that I would crown him. With time, he really grew on me. By now, I like him so much. I even want to get his signature weapon, the Haran which I didn't even consider at the start. I thought about getting it for Ayaka, but now I really want it for Ayato instead. Aran is one of the reasons why I will skip Fontaine characters. There is, however, a character that I was hinting about earlier who is also the reason why I have to skip them for now. And that character is Sino. When I saw him for the first time, in the Teyvat chapter trailer, he didn't really catch my eye. But after we saw his in-game model, I got a bit curious. His gameplay also seemed cool. It somehow reminded me of something I like. I still can't tell to this day what it is. And he also has my favorite element. I wanted from the very beginning an Electro character in my team. Though, I was very skeptical about him. 1. He is a full-on hyper DPS. 2. At the time, I didn't really care about the Dendro element. And 3. Especially because he was a full-on main DPS, he couldn't really fit on my team. From time to time, he won my heart little by little. Besides his unfunny jokes, which is kinda the goofy part about him, he is genuinely a great character. I personally prefer characters that I can take seriously. And Sino definitely falls into that category. He is also surprisingly a really warm-hearted guy. As a die-hard Yu-Gi-Oh fan, it also makes sense why I enjoy his character so much. When it comes to gameplay, we had so many chances to try him out in Trials. He was always my go-to option, and by now, I thoroughly tested him out. Even if he is a main DPS and requires a different set of characters, it's very unique and from all the different types of characters that already exist, that do about the same thing as Sino does, just in a different way, he is kinda like Ayaka for me. I'm sorry Zhao, I love you man. But what should I say? In that regard, Sino is a hat by a mile. He does it for me just in my most preferable way. Because of him, I finally got onto the Dendro hype and started to pick up characters like Kale that I already liked. But by getting Tignari and especially Cookie, my interest in Dendro characters has definitely spiked. Also, I would finally get my wish fulfilled of getting an Electro character on my team. Well, it has already happened with Cookie. Even when I like Cookie a lot, she was definitely not the Electro character that I imagined to play. Sino might not be a katana wielder, but he is a DPS and a male character. And I feel like, especially in this type of game, it's hard to find the male character that I like. I mean, come on, is that so much to ask for? I never would have guessed that I would start to like him that much. With day by day passing, 
I can confidently say that I want him badly, and that even with his weapon, even if he is such a hyper DPS character, if I already like him that much, I can look over that fact. This time around, I'm definitely aiming for more complicated goals. And therefore, you probably see now why I have to take such drastic actions. To try to save up for a 5-star character and two specific 5-star weapons is not easy. When I look at Ayaka's skin, thinking about Fontaine characters is definitely tempting. But as I said at the very start, it will probably be for the better. I always need some time so that I can start to truly like something. And that will also be the case with Fontaine characters. After accomplishing my current goals, who knows? There might even be a Fontaine character that I like by then. Waiting for reruns is honestly a nice idea. When it comes to the characters that we currently have, I'm generally not interested in a lot of them, that I would end up saving up for them. I'm kind of interested to see what Kirara will do. But besides her, I only care about cookie cons. And 4 stars are a completely different topic. When it comes to the 5 stars, I kinda feel the same way. Besides Sino, there is really no one that I care about. At least for now. There is someone that I have recently started to like. But for now, I keep it for myself. Time just has to prove to me if I'm right or wrong. Well, I'm excited to see what happens in a year. If I accomplish my goals, how I feel about the current Fontaine characters, and if I might even want to pull for that one mystery character. Wish me luck, because I can definitely need it this time around.